So hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are all doing well out there. So I'm recording this here in a Meld Studio today. I really want to give this another shot for recordings and streaming and whatnot. So hopefully this looks okay to you guys and gals. But you know, a few weeks or so ago on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it here, I put out a poll asking you all, hey, would you like me to make an up-to-date video on my best quality settings for Twitch if you have an NVIDIA-based graphics card? Because unfortunately, that's what I have. So that's the the kind of, of tutorial that I can make for you guys and gals but and the overwhelming majority of you on my poll said yes so the funny thing is here too y'all is that about I think like what five six months or, or so ago I actually made a tutorial just like what I'm making now, but there are a couple things that have been changed in OBS Studio, so I figured I would go ahead and just kind of just start fresh for you all here, okay? So, okay, so here's my install of OBS Studio. Here's the wonderful Streamlabs plugin, but I already made a video about this a few weeks or so ago, so go back and watch that video if you want to know what this here is, but as far as what my own personal um, settings are here for OBS Studio, in my output tab, uh, for streaming, audio encoder is FFmpeg. Uh, video encoder is NVIDIA NVENC H.264. Now, before, whenever I made that last video, and, and the biggest rule of thumb was that you never wanted to rescale your output inside of the output tab. You always wanted to go down here to the video tab, set your base canvas resolution, and then you want to go ahead and scale it on this part here, outscaled res resolution, right? Because there was a thing in OBS Studio for years that if you were to tell it to uh, rescale the output on the output tab, even though you were telling it to use your graphics card, it would re revert back to CPU-based uh, X264 encoding. But I'm happy to say, though, that this is actually working as intended now. Whenever you uh, rescale the output here in the actual output tab for your streaming settings here, uh, it will continue to use whatever video encoder you tell it to, whether it's your NVIDIA graphics card or if you want to use CPU-based encoding, like if you have another uh, spare PC or whatever, it will actually use the encoder you tell it to now. So that's awesome. And honestly, it makes the entire thing a lot more streamlined here too, in my opinion. Now, as far as my actual encoder settings, again, I have an RTX 4080 and an AMD 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM. So uh, my settings are definitely going to be uh, more geared toward a higher end system, but you can always tweak these to fit your needs here. But these are the uh, general settings I recommend for everybody that is running at least in, uh, you know, a uh, NVIDIA graphics card here, okay? So, uh, so rate control CBR, bit rate 6,000, keyframe interval 2 seconds, you don't want to leave it to 0. Uh, for the preset, I use a P6. You know, you can go up to P7, but even on my RTX 4080, I've, I've noticed that P7 can cause some frame dips in certain, you know, high, you know, fast paced games. So I just keep this here at P6, the quality difference. To my eyes, I can't tell. A matter of fact, even if I kick it down to P5, which is what it's on by default, I can't really see a difference in quality, but I just keep mine on P6 just for have that little bit of uh, extra fluff if you, you know, if you can handle it. And as far as tuning goes, I keep mine here on high quality. For multi-pass mode, I have it on two-pass quarter resolution. For the profile, by default, that's at the high. That's what Twitch actually recommends in their documentation. So that's what I keep it at. And then for look ahead, I actually uh, keep that off. But cycle visual tuning, I keep that on. Now, GPU zero, what that means is that whenever you're talking about computer hardware or anything relating to how PCs work, everything normally always starts at zero. So if you have a you know six core CPU, instead of your CPU cores being one, two, three, Three, four, five, six. It's zero through five. You know what I mean. So what this here means is that the graphics card in your uh, top PCI Express slot. That's the car that OBS is going to be using. So whenever you build a PC, you nine times out of ten, unless you have a really weird use case, you always put your graphics card in the highest most top pci express slot right so that would be slot zero so that's what gpu zero means here okay folks now for max b frames again the default uh setting here is two that's what twitch recommends so therefore that is what i would recommend you all do as well here okay now i know i said in in my last video that if you have the hardware and the internet to push it you can set your bit rate to eight thousand. but i'm actually pulling back on that a little bit 
uh, mainly because due to infrastructure cost and everything on a Twitch's end and how expensive their transcode servers are. Uh, I, I am going to recommend you all bump that down to Twitch's, you know, soft cap of 6,000 kilobits per second. Just makes everybody's life a little bit easier, especially on their end here. Okay, now um, you might be noticing my frame rate down here for streaming is 30 frames per second. And if you notice that here on my video tab, you were right. Here's the thing here. Okay, folks, here is the thing. At these lower bit rates, just in, just in my opinion, even for 1080p 60, you want at least 15 to 20,000 kilobits per second for a bit rate to look somewhat decent, in my opinion, for, again, just 1080p 60. Now, I found that 720p looks a little bit too soft, but there is another resolution you all can stream at. It's called 936p, and it is 1664 by 936. You can either type that in custom right here the way I have it, or if you want to do your outscaling here in, in the video tab, you can go ahead and type it in there as uh, well. And I know that a lot of you out there are totally against 30 frames per second. I totally understand that. I, I get it. I truly do. But again, at these lower bit rates, in my opinion... 60 frames per second is really hard to look good in my opinion um you know yeah if you can crank your presets really slow to get as many cpu or gpu cycles as you possibly can to pump out as much quality from that low bit rate that that you can then maybe you have a secondary pc just for streaming then by all means go right ahead and do that but if you are on a single pc setup like i am in my opinion 30 frames per second is just fine for streaming. I know some of your viewers might not like it, but I, I would rather have a really good looking 30 frames per second stream than a 60 frames per second stream that looks like a moving oil painting, you know what I mean? And as far as the uh, the audio tab here for my audio output, for how high quality my audio is going to Twitch, I just keep this here at the default 160. I know that you can actually up that all the way to 320, but in my opinion, at least to my ears, there is no actual sound quality difference going from 160 all the way up to 320. And you're just using more of your bit rate for audio at that point instead of video. You know what I mean? Because the way that your bit rate works is that whenever you go to your output tab and you, you know, put how much uh, bit rate you want in here, this 6,000 kilobits per second also includes the audio bit rate you're selecting as well. So out of the 6,000 kilobits per second bit rate we're sending to Twitch, 160 of that is going to just be for audio, you know what I mean? So I would rather have better looking visuals for you guys than maxed out audio bit rates, if that makes sense. Now, a, a lot really hasn't changed all that much in this new update to OBS and my quality control settings here for the best possible looking streams over on Twitch, but I figured I would go ahead and just make a new video for you guys and gals to really let you in on my world here a little bit, what I use, and just, you know, uh, people seem to like my streams over on Twitch. They say that they look really good, so I figured I would go ahead and just make this updated tutorial for you all, and maybe it might help some of you out there squeeze a little bit more performance from your PC and also make your Twitch streams just look that much better. But look, if you have any questions at all, please do me a favor, sound off in the comments below. I love talking to you guys and gals about this kind of stuff. And also, if you might need some uh, some after hours help or anything, please do not hesitate to reach out to me over on Twitter. Come by my live stream over, over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash oh hey Terry. I, again, I, I, I love talking to you guys and gals about this stuff. And if you have any questions, stop by. We'll have a good time. Chat it up, okay? But again, y'all, my name is Terry. Thanks a lot for coming by, and I'll catch you all next time.